Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am sharing a video as part of a YouTube hop. So I'm part of a hop with a bunch of other scrappers and crafty people. All of the links to those videos are in the description down below. Um, all kinds of creative crafters are getting involved in this hop. So um, if scrapbooking and crafting is your jam, then go have a look and you might find some other people to subscribe to go check out their videos as well so as this video is part of the world photo day um, hop i decided to include two photos which you can see me slicing up here um, of me thoroughly enjoying a danish pastry this was on a recent trip to copenhagen so these are authentic danish pastries they were beautiful um, I created a title for this page which is available as a tutorial which uh, was live on my channel yesterday so if you um, haven't seen that video I will link it in a card above and in the description down below so that you can go and check out that how-to video as well if you want to change your own handwriting into a cut file um, using the Cricut Studio so that you have um, like a fun title that's unique to your project. So I started with this layout with um, some spray mist and I'm using Lindy's spray mist and the colour is called Orange Creamsicle um, and it's just a beautiful colour. I don't know, I used to hate peach um, and I would say it is peach but I've just been loving peaches, oranges, coral, like, I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> I've changed. Um, I'm also using this stamp here that says enjoy and I am stamping in an orange um, archival ink because I wasn't sure if I was going to add any more mixed media over the top. I actually don't add any more so it didn't really matter. You could use any orange ink that you have um, and I just wanted it to kind of match with the other colours um, of the spray that I had chosen. The um, I've kind of made it so they're popping out slightly around the edges of the picture but then I have added here some layers of paper behind the photo which means that you can't see huge amounts of those enjoy words. Um, so I've just added some uh, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for, like wonky layers behind this picture. These all come from the same paper pad and it's paper pad that I got from the works. It's actually a floral paper pad but they did something really good which is on the back of every floral paper they've added a what looks like a kind of watercolor or watercolor wash um, paper you'll see it in a little while because I do add a border to this particular um, what is this called scrapbook layout <laughs> um, so here I'm just sticking them down I've just used one huge strip of that because I knew where I wanted to place it and then I'm going to start adding some foam tape behind my um, lettering for the title, which took ages, so I do cut most of that out of this video. So, um, oh, I seem to have just disappeared off here. Anyway, if you're new to my channel because you've come from somebody else's video as part of this hop, welcome. I am Sam. I mostly scrapbook, some project life. Um, and some other types of crafty videos as well. Um, some mixed media, some um, like how to's, tutorials, embellishments, all that kind of stuff. So we would love to have you stick around. Please click the subscribe button and welcome back to anyone who is a regular viewer. It is of course great to have you back. So I have now finally in this layout found a use for bike embellishment. I have so many of these die cut bikes and they are one of the most infuriating like scrapbooking trends because I'm quite a literal scrapbooker and I mean how often do I ride a bike unfortunately not as often as scrapbook companies produce bike um, embellishments so that's kind of frustrating to me but thankfully in Copenhagen there were bikes everywhere so it seems like a good time including a whole load actually in the background of those pictures. Uh, so it seemed like a good time to use that embellishment. I'm also just adding some clear stickers from an Amy Tangerine set. So uh, I've got there, which is a donut with a bite out of it actually. So not a pastry, but still along the same theme. So 
uh, I'll go with that. And then I'm also using some clear stickers here that say love because I was having a bit of romance with the pastry, if I'm honest. It was almost like we were in a relationship. It was new. It didn't last very long because, you know, I ate the pastry, but it it was good while it lasted. And then I also find another sticker, which just says, yes, please, which I add to that top photo because I'm literally just eyeing the pastry up there. And um, I thought that that would be a funny sentiment to kind of add to that photo. So I actually stick it at the top of the picture in a second there you go so you can just kind of see it there and now I've realized that I have made my layout quite wonky plus I did just really want to add a little bit more color to this layout so I'm going to use my trimmer just trim down the edges of the paper take um, maybe like a quarter it probably works out about a quarter of an inch off each side of the layout um, off each of the four sides and then I'm going to um, choose a background paper to stick it to I'm actually going to stitch on it I think yes I do do that <laughs> and so here I'm bringing over the paper pad this was three pound from the works such a bargain loads of papers in it and as I mentioned before it is a floral paper pad but it on the back of every floral sheet there is a watercolour um, kind of pattern which is great because the florals are a little bit retro they're not really kind of up my street um, they're not my kind of style um, but they are really pretty and so I would definitely use some of them but probably not for whole backgrounds um, so it's nice to have the, the options there so it's actually a really usable paper pad um, what I've done off camera is then just stitched around the outside of the white um, kind of center of the layout to attach it to that border and then I'm just using um, some small torn pieces of black and white washi tape from a Heidi Swap washi sticker book um, and just adding those to the top and bottom of the layout just to bring um, kind of the black that's in the wheels on that bike all the way through the layout um, just to give it a bit of a pop I think and then I am going around the edge of the border here with my nail and just roughing up the edges of that border to give it a bit more interest um, and texture. I don't do that very often, but it is a nice, a nice touch, I think, sometimes. You know, sometimes the layout works with it, sometimes it doesn't, but today I was all for it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm grabbing the date stamp that I have to the side here and I'm going to stamp the date for this layout. It was the 28th of July this year. So I'm just stamping that in orange archival ink by Ranger. And then I have this little um, tab sticker that I had found, I, can't, I don't know where it came from, or tab label, and it just says you and me on it. And as I mentioned, there was a strong love for the pastry. So <laughs> the you and me label seemed like a funny kind of touch to add to the layout. Um, and then I'm going to use a pink um, pen just to add some journaling uh, to the bottom of this layout, which I think I'm slightly doing off camera, so I'm sorry about that. But um, that is going to bring my layout to a close. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like um, the video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification. And just a final reminder, this is part of a YouTube hop. So please check out the other videos in this series, which are linked in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.